Welcome to the Bio Whisperer channel. Our topic today is on a perspective overview of marine biology. If you are new here, we are a group of retired professors sharing bite-sized videos. Let's dive into the topic for today. What is marine biology? Marine biology is the study of marine organisms, their behaviors and interactions with the environment. Marine biologists study biological oceanography and the associated fields of chemical, physical, and geological oceanography to understand marine organisms. Due to the large coverage of marine biology over a broad area, most researchers in marine biology select a particular area of interest and specialize in it. These specializations can be based on a particular species, group, behavior, technique, or ecosystem. Morphological and taxonomic studies of marine organisms are generally performed on preserved materials in connection with the work in museums and universities. Physiological and embryological investigations requiring the use of living material are generally pursued at biological stations. So who are marine biologists and what do they work on? Marine biologists study the way in which particular organisms are adapted to the various chemical and physical properties of the seawater, to the movements and currents of the ocean, to the availability of light at various depths, and to the solid surfaces that make up the seafloor. Special attention is given to determining the dynamics of marine ecosystems, particularly to the understanding of food chains and predator-prey relationships. Next let us look at the importance of marine science. On planet Earth, the vast expanse of ocean and water bodies covers nearly 70% of our planet's surface. Oceans regulates our climate and holds vast amount of untouched resources in particular fisheries. Humans have always benefited from the ocean and its diverse ecosystem services. We often speak of a healthy and productive ocean referring to the desire to maintain the ocean in a prosperous state. The ocean provides food for many, coastal communities, provides jobs, energy, and raw materials, and enables global trade and recreational and cultural services. As the growing global population stresses the ability of our society to produce food, water, and shelter, Marine scientists will continue to look to the oceans to help sustain our basic needs. Advances in technology, combined with demand, will improve our ability to derive food, drinking water, energy sources, waste disposal, and transportation from the ocean. Marine and terrestrial environments provide very different physical conditions for life. The majority of marine plants are microscopic, Floating species, many marine animals are invertebrates without massive skeletons or fishes with small bones. Within the depths of the ocean bodies, marine plant growth is limited to the sunlight illuminated regions, which may extend from a few meters to hundreds of meters depending on turbidity and clarity of the water bodies. Notably, a large portion of the marine life lives in near perpetual darkness amongst the depths and could only partly rely on plant photosynthetic production near the sea surface. One of the marine plant species, algae, belongs to a diverse group of aquatic organisms that have the ability to conduct photosynthesis. The majority of algae live in aquatic habitats, and so do free-floating algae, which are mostly unicellular, that live within illuminated regions of water bodies, such as lakes termed as planktonic algae. Those that adhere to surfaces such as rocks are known as benthic algae. These organisms can thrive in freshwater lakes or in saltwater oceans. They can also endure a range of temperatures, oxygen or carbon dioxide concentrations, acidity and turbidity. In our previous videos, we have highlighted algae biotechnology as a strategy to present high-tech, low-cost, and environmentally friendly solutions to many current and future needs of our society. Given emerging technologies such as synthetic biology and high-throughput phenomics, these could be applied towards algal manufacturing and advance our understanding of algal biology. 
Notably, microalgal biofactories have the potential to be less expensive and more sustainable platforms that may be naturally predisposed to produce certain plant-derived products. Closing Perspectives In a nutshell, marine biology is the study of marine organisms and their behaviors and interactions with the environment. Marine biologists are fascinated by the amazing marine life and the coastal environments or ecosystems. The oceans, and especially the vast deep stretches of the ocean floors, are the last areas of Earth's surface left to explore. Researchers working in these areas are both intrigued and amused by the strange organisms that thrive in marine environments. However, there are challenges ahead, with complex issues such as climate change, growing populations, food production, and depleting natural resources. The need for marine science professionals continues to grow. From a regulatory perspective, coastal states can benefit from a systematic, multi-stakeholder assessment and spatial planning procedure for effective ocean governance.